Hi, Virgo. So this short heads up video is for sun in Virgo, rising sign in Virgo, or the moon in Virgo for all the energy that you want to know about for the astrological energies for the month of September 2023. Let's see what's happening for you. First of all, Virgo, I want to ask you how you are getting on with Mercury, our planet of communication, that is your ruling planet in your sign retrograde. How's that been going? Maybe it's been giving you a little bit of a break, a little bit of a rest from overthinking things, over analysing things, Virgo, because sometimes you are like we all are, your own worst enemy. So I'm just hoping that perhaps you've managed to slow down a little bit and catch up because it may be that you've had such a busy time that it's been really difficult to just keep your house in order, for example, because it's, you know, it's tricky stuff. And we've got Venus has been in Leo in your 12th house. Now, this is the part of your chart that is to do with that kind of inner you, your psyche. And Venus has been imploring you to be kind to yourself, to stop being so negative with yourself, to stop beating yourself up, for actually recognizing the good things that you've done. You know, sometimes it's a really good exercise, Virgo, to sit down and make a list of all your good points. What are you good at? I reckon, and don't sit there and say absolutely nothing. There are a lot of things that you are good at, Virgo. And you know, one of them, of course, is caring for others. And in that, you sometimes forget to care for you. Well, Venus in Leo in your 12th has been reminding you of what you need to do to care for you. Now, Venus is going direct on the fourth and you're going to have Venus in your 12th house, Leo, until I think it's about the end of the first week of October, but I can't remember exactly. So Venus is helping you here to sort of get your inner self in order before it moves into your first house, when it's going to get your external self in order. Now, Jupiter, our planet of luck, opportunity, expansion, and uh, remember it expands what's negative as well as what's good, is in Taurus in your ninth house, and it's going retrograde also from the fourth. So you've got Venus direct on the fourth, and Jupiter retrograde from the fourth. This is the ninth house. This is about higher learning or those kind of spiritual aspirations or heady heights of intuit, intuit, intuition <laughs> that are so good to get in touch with at times. And I feel that what you need to be reminded of with Jupiter retrograde is your part in all of this. You are not a, a helpless piece of flotsam on a rough sea. You, you, do have an, you do have the ability to co-create with the primordial soup of the universe. That's what I want to say to you. I want to I want to I want to help you see that this really makes sense because it's all very well having an intention and people do their vision boards and you know sort of think that that is just how it's going to manifest it doesn't really work that way because you know what the divine and the cosmos actually know better than you and they may give you the red Ferrari or whatever it is, but they're going, oh dear, 
Virgo person didn't realise that they would smash it into a wall and then have a big insurance claim. So sometimes getting what we want isn't necessarily what's best for us. So how we work with the primordial soup, as I call it, is to have that intent, the intention of what we would like to invite into our life, but allow the divine, the cosmos, whatever your name is, for that higher, higher energy. Allow the cosmos to sort out the details and decide if, <coughs> excuse me, what you're asking for is for your highest good or the highest good of others. This is about trust and faith, Virgo. Virgo, you are a sign of service. So this for me is about you needing to be of service now to you, to take yourself back to, to remember, to reflect on all the things you have done that have been successful, all the things you've completed, everything you can feel proud of, in your life. Now your ruling planet Mercury, which of course has been retrograde in your first house, Virgo, goes direct on the 15th. And Mercury has been working hard to slow your mind down, as it was with Gemini's as well. It's slowing you down. It's trying to get you to take time out, reflect, just review to re-look at, to redress, redress balance, get back into harmony with you. Sometimes the last person on your list, Virgo, is you. Please take care of you, Virgo. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. Please, we need you. We love you, Virgo. And sometimes I think you forget that we, you know, we don't often show our appreciation of you, Virgo, because we're so used to you clearing up the mess. We forget to say thank you. So on behalf of all the cosmos, I'm saying now, thank you, Virgo. And Mercury, <coughs> excuse me, finally goes direct on the 15th. And that will feel as if things turn a corner for you. It really will make a difference to the energies that you're experiencing. And the new moon is on the same day in your sign. So you've got some lovely energies to work in a co-creative manner with that primordial soup to put your intention out there and say, hey, you up there, over there, all of you, whoever you are, I know you're up there and you listen to me. Show me the way. Show me what's best for me. Show me of these things that I want to manifest, how to do it in the best possible way for the good of me and for all, and the good of all, which you wouldn't forget anyway, because you always think that. This new moon in your sign is making a lovely trine to Uranus that, of course, is retrograde in Taurus in your ninth house. Now, Uranus, of course, is the planet of the unexpected. Uranus was born out of chaos. Isn't that interesting? Uranus's mother was Gaia, planet Earth. And Uranus married Gaia and gave birth to the Titans. So a lot of big energy in Uranus in the ninth, and maybe Virgo, you are giving some thought to improving your knowledge. Maybe there is a subject that you've really been wanting to study. You know, Uranus is the planet of astrology. 
And I would guess if you're watching this video, you quite fancy astrology and there's, there's something about it that you're thinking, hmm, maybe there is something to this. Maybe I should research it further. Well, actually, Virgo, that would be a really good use of this energy. Let's move on to the, um, let me see, where am I going now? To the 16th, the 16th of September, we have this build-up of what's known as a Grand Earth Trine. This is like this wonderful, powerful pyramid of power, this triangle covering the primordial soup with the sun in Virgo, your sign, in Earth, in a mutable sign. And it's trining Pluto in Capricorn, in the house of fun, the fifth house, the house of, of, of fabulous energy, of creativity. And then you've got Uranus in the ninth in Taurus, which is fixed. So you've got Capricorn, which is cardinal. You've got Uranus in Taurus fixed. You've got this amazing energy. This energy will last for a few days. If you want to really get your act together, start making a list now of the things that you want to get in order and to look at and play with and initiate around the 16th, the few days leading up to that new moon and the few days beyond. Because of course, by the 23rd, the sun moves into Libra. And of course, this is the autumn equinox in your second house of self-value and of worth, self-worth, of finance, of how you manage your financial situation. I will be doing a separate video, a separate heads up about the autumn equinox. Now, Venus in Leo now direct in your 12th house of that kind of inner you, that psyche, that soul, trines Chiron. Chiron is the asteroid with the wound. This reflects a deep wound that you have that is represented by it being retrograde in Aries in your eighth house. And this is all around the 23rd of September. And what this energy is doing is it's giving you a chance to look at what you need to let go of from your life. Cut out the dead wood. Do a little bit of pruning, Virgo, because the full moon in the same part of your chart in the eighth house in Aries on the 29th of September has Venus in Leo at this point squaring Uranus in Taurus in the ninth, saying, come on, get a move on. If you want to do the things that fascinate you, the things you're passionate about, then you've got to do something. You've got to take that first step. You've got to order that online course. You've got to pick up that book. Sitting and staring at them won't make it all absorb into you. You know, I think we all think that sometimes. I've got all these wonderful books. I've signed up to all these courses. I know all these things. No, we don't. We just sit there looking at them thinking, I've got all these wonderful books and I don't know where to start. I don't know which one to pick up first. It's a nightmare. Virgo, start with one. Pick one book up and start. So that's what I want to say to you for the month of September. Thank you so much for joining me for your mm, medium length heads up video for the month of September. As you can see, I've dropped doing the palm, palm to the camera because I decided it was really not terribly attractive. And so I thought, ditch that. Sometimes you have to change ideas. Something might work for a short while and then you think, no, nah, got to change it. And this is the whole point of life. We have to keep redoing, renewing, recreating, co-creating with the divine and the cosmos. 
Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and share. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.